First-year students at Cardozo Law School were confronted with challenging moral questions when they screened the documentary William Kunstler, Disturbing the Universe, a film about the life of the late radical civil rights lawyer. It was 1969, and William Kunstler was 50 years old. Before the trial was over, he would grow his hair long, experiment with drugs, and be sentenced to four years in prison for contempt of court. Vice Dean Ed Stein says that the film is a perfect way to teach students about the lives of lawyers and the role they play in society. One of the ideas is that this film gets students to think about their, their career as lawyers, their life as lawyers, the choices that they will have to make as lawyers. There are very few films about lawyers in general, the lives of lawyers, and this one takes a controversial figure, Bill Kunstler, and presents his life and the work that, that he's done in a very controversial way. It's, it's, it's a very balanced view. Power to the people. Disturbing the Universe traces the life and career of William Kunstler, who fought for civil rights in the 60s and 70s and represented activists such as the Vietnam protesters, the Black Panthers, and the American Indian Movement. But he often risked public outrage and personal safety by defending polarizing people and groups. He did do great work, but also he was a problematic figure, and the film does raise questions about that, about the choices he made in his life, about work-life balance, about how he valued his family, about how he spent his time, about how he threw himself into his work. It, it kind of raised, I think, an ethical and a moral uh, question that I, I think, and I, the professors have told us, we're going to have to battle with for the rest of our law school career and eventually once we reach the profession. How far do you want to go to achieve a goal in terms of uh, extremism in what role you want to use the judicial 